Hello, grade 9 students. So I'm back again. I am Teacher V and I'm here to guide you about the similarity and triangle similarity theorems. For grade 9 students, quarter 3, week 6 to 7. So again, ang topic dito is more on similar polygons and the triangle similarity theorem. So are you ready? Okay, so let's get started. So let's answer the learning task. And according to the direction, we have to answer the following questions. And the first question is, how do you find the scale factor of similar polygons? To find the scale factor, we need to get the ratio of the lengths of two corresponding sides of two polygons. If the ratio is the same for all corresponding sides, then this is called the scale factor and the polygons are similar. So, nakukuha ang scale factor sa ratio ng mga corresponding sides. Kapag ang ratio ng corresponding sides ay equal sa other corresponding sides ng ating polygon, we can say that they are similar. So, kailangan pare-pareho sila ng ratio or scale factor na tinatawag. At sa scale factor, there are times na kailangan mong ilowest term if in case na fraction siya. So, kailangan mong ilowest term para makita mo talaga kung same sila ng scale factor. Another question, illustrate or draw a triangle ART similar to triangle PIN. Then, complete each statement. So, meron tatlong angle na given dito at alamin natin kung ano yung mga congruent sa kanya. So, mag-drawing tayo ng dalawang triangle. So, first is yung triangle ART or, or ART. Then, another one is yung triangle PIN. And let's look at these two triangles. Then, i-complete natin tong statement. Hanapin natin yung congruent na angle dito sa angle A. Ano kaya sa palagay nyo? Okay. So, ang congruent sa angle A is of course, yung kapareho nyo ng pwesto dun sa isang triangle. So, this is angle P. Yung angle R naman, Yung angle na to, nasan kaya ang kapareho niyang angle dito sa triangle na to? Okay, so angle I. And yung angle T is angle N. So angle T is congruent to angle N. Now, for the next uh, question, complete each statement. So ito yung kaninang triangle natin, yung triangle R and triangle PIN. And we're going to complete this uh, statement o yung Ratio. Okay. Meron tayo dito nakalagay na AR over PI. So, saan kaya siya equal? So, meron tayong AR over PI. So, pwede natin isunod is yung another sides naman ng mga triangles natin. So, pwede natin sabihin na AT over PN. Okay. Hindi pwedeng AT over IN. So, make sure na yung magkasama dito sa ratio is yung side na kapareho niya ng pwesto dun sa other triangle. So, AT over PN. And yung isa pang side, which is ito, yung naiwan na isa pang side, RT over IN. Next, complete the following statement. So, meron tayong dalawang polygons and makikita natin na uh, similar sila, although hindi sila pareho ng size, pero pareho sila ng shape. Kapag pareho yung ratio ng ating mga co corresponding sides, we can say that they are similar. So, if I have this given, angle C, this one, saan kaya siya congruent, yung angle C? So, hanapin natin sa kabilang polygon yung katulad niya ng pwesto din. So, that is angle G. And yung angle B, where is angle B? This one, itong angle na to. Ang kapareho niya dito sa kabilang polygon natin is itong angle F. So, angle B is congruent to angle F. How about this statement? AD over EH. So, where is AD? AD or segment AD over segment EH is equal to so, hanapin lang din natin or sulat din natin yung iba pang mga uh, sides, corresponding sides. Yeah. So, DC and HG. So, DC 
over HG. And then, substitute natin yung ating values or length ng ating mga segments. If we have segment BC as 6, okay, dahil dito, and segment HG is 9, so, kukunin natin yung kanyang tinatawag na scale factor or pwede kasi itong ma-lowest term. So, 6 over 9, pwede mo parehong i-divide sa 3. So, pag dinivide natin to sa 3, ang answer is 2. Then, ito, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, we have 2 thirds para sa ratio ng segment DC over segment HG. And ito na nga yung sinasabi nating scale factor. Okay? Yung scale factor ay nakukuha natin sa ratio ng mga corresponding sides. Now, how about if you are asked to find the value of X? So remember, yung segment DC over segment HG is equal to segment BC over FG. So yun yung gagawin nating basis para makuha natin yung X. So substitute lang natin. Yung DC over HG, ito yun, DC is 6 and then HG is 9, is equal to BC, segment BC over segment FG. So, yung FG natin is X, and then yung segment BC natin is 8. So, para makuha mo yung X, cross-multiply lang tayo. 6 times X is 6X, then 9 times 8 is 72. And we need to divide both sides to 6 para makancel yung 6 at maiwan yung X. 72 divided by 6, the answer is 12. So, therefore, our X here is 12. Okay, check natin. Pag pinag-cross-multiply mo sila, dapat equal. 6 times 12, kasi yung x natin is 12, that is 72. And 9 times 8 is also 72. The scale factor of quadrilateral ABCD, similar to quadrilateral EFG is, oh, nakuha na natin ito kanina, di ba? Yung uh, scale factor, kunin mo lang yung ratio ng mga corresponding sides niya. So, kanina, ginamit natin 6 over 9. Then, isisimplify mo pa yan kasi divisible sila pareho sa 3. Ang scale factor natin is 2 thirds. Therefore, in the given figure, triangle AFG is similar to triangle ABC. Which triangle similarity theorem justifies the similarity? Show proof to your answer. So, meron kayong makikita ng dalawang triangle base dito sa given natin. Triangle AFG and triangle ABC. So, itong maliit na triangle and itong bigger one, which is ABC. We will prove na similar itong dalawang triangle na to. So, isulat muna natin yung given. And as you can see, dito sa figure natin, mayroon naman ng markings yung angle F and angle B. So, meaning they are congruent or equal. So, given natin, angle F is congruent to angle B. At ang kailangan natin i-prove is yung triangle AFG is similar to triangle A, B, and C. We need to make a two-column proof wherein we have the statement and reasons. Ang una natin ilalagay na statement is yung given. So, yung angle F is congruent to angle B. Yun yung ating statement. At ang reason natin, given na siya. So, there's no need to write any reasons for this. Now, after nito, makikita natin sa ating triangles na yung segment FG is parallel to segment BC. So, just write FG is parallel to segment BC. At ang reason natin dito, anong theorem yung ginamit natin dito? Okay, yung converse of basic proportionality theorem. Now, since napakita na natin na yung segment FG and segment BC are parallel, we can say that angle G and angle C are also congruent. Ang reason natin dyan, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. So, dahil parallel na nga itong dalawang lines natin, yung FG and BC, may mabubuong transversal, which is yung AC. Parang itong segment AC ang tatayong transversal natin sa parallel lines FG and BC. At sa transversal, yung corresponding angles ay congruent. Ang corresponding angles dito is yung angle G and angle C. So therefore, we can say that they are 
congruent. So, na-prove na natin itong angle F and angle B, then angle G and angle C. So, ano pa kaya ang pwede nating i-prove? So, syempre, huwag natin kalimutan itong nag-iisa pang angle ng triangles natin, which is angle A. And obviously, they are congruent. Kasi pareho lang sila. Yung dalawang triangle na to is parehong-pareho sila ng angle A. So, there's no need to prove that. Ang sabihin na lang nating reason is reflexive property. Now, na-prove na natin yung tatlong angles ng ating triangle. Ano sa palagay niyong similarity theorem ang pwede nating magamit? So, dahil tatlong angles na yung nagamit natin, we can say that triangle AFG is similar to triangle ABC by AAA similarity theorem or kahit dalawang A na lang, AA similarity theorem. Kasi makita niyo naman na na-prove natin yung bawat angles niya. Next, number five, using the figure below, name the three similar triangles and write the proportion that exists among corresponding parts of similar triangles. So, ano kaya ang three similar triangles ang pwede natin mabuo dito sa ating triangle? So, we can say that triangle DAC, so ito yung unang triangle, is similar to triangle DCB, so ito yung pangalawa, and yung pangatlo is yung pinakamalaking triangle, which is A or C, A, B. Okay, again, una itong C, D, A, C, then D, C, B, then C, A, B. So, yan yung mga similar uh, triangles natin dito are based dito sa given natin. And, paano naman yung proportions that exist among corresponding parts nitong similar triangles? Compare muna natin yung triangle DAC at saka yung triangle DCB. So, ito muna ang dalawang triangle na to. So, DAC tapos itong DCB. So, ang mga mabubuong proportions dito sa ating similar triangles ay una yung DA over DC. So, DA over DC is equal to DC over DB. Okay, so, pag ganyan, parang pa-L. Ayan, yan yung dalawang unang proportion and yung isa pa syempre yung dalawang natitira na sides ay yung AC over CB. So yan yung mga proportions na mag-exist sa ating dalawang triangle na DAC and DCB. Next, syempre hindi lang yan, meron pa. Sumunod naman na gagamitin natin is yung DAC So, DAC, yung maliit na triangle. Tapos, yung malaki, yung pinakamalaki. So, ito, yung triangle na maliit, tapos itong pinakamalaki. Yun naman yung i-compare natin. Ayan siya. So, ito yung maliit. Ayan. Tapos, ito, itong CAB ay ito. Ito yun, yung isang buo niya. So, ang po pwedeng maging proportion dyan is yung DA over CA. So, DA over CA is equal to DC over CB at yung natitira, yung pa yung natitira, we have AC over AB. So, yan yung proportion naman sa dalawang triangle na to. And, meron pa. Kasi dito, ang kinompare natin is DAC and CAB. So, ito muna, ito muna, tapos ito. Pero paano naman itong dalawa? Yung triangle DCB and triangle CAB. So, i-compare din natin sila. Bata na siya. So, triangle DCB. So, ito DCB. So, itong triangle na to. And yung CAB. CAB. Okay, yung isang buo na triangle. So, yan naman ang tignan natin. Or compare natin. So, segment DC over CA. So, ayan siya is equal to segment DB over CB. At yung isa pa is yung segment CB over AB. Okay, itong AB, kabuuan niya. So, all in all, mer meron tayong nabuong nine na proportions na nag exist dito sa ating triangles. Sa tatlong triangles na meron dito sa ating given. Okay, so medyo nakakalito pero ganun talaga maging ano lang kayo, maging matyaga sa pag-aaral. Okay, kung hindi magets, di ulitin ulit. 
ikaw pa rin. So, wag tayong susuko sa mathematics. Kung may tanong ka pa, ilagay mo lang sa ating comment section at sasagutin niya ni Teacher V. So, huwag kalimutan i-like at i-share ka sa mga kaklase mo para malaman din nila kung paano sasagutan ang mga learning tasks nila sa mathematics. You can follow me also on Facebook, VTH Channel. Goodbye!